What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. Today's video, we are going to get what you see in front of you um, ready for some paint. Uh, I did shoot a time lapse of me spraying the insides of all these parts. Um, the insides of the doors, <clears throat> under the hood, stuff like that. So, show you what I do to uh, get all this ready for uh, spraying some color on it. So, first thing, I uh, got this kind of cardboard that came out of a, a grill I bought. Um, most of the parts I want to spray, how they're going to be on the car as close as possible. So, you know, spraying these flat will help, you know, like the doors upright. So that's kind of the way that we're going to get things masked off. Um, you know, these fenders. I just got some painter's tape here. Stick these fenders on because they're going to be sprayed kind of upright. So that will make that a lot easier. Um, same thing with the doors. A uh, little gas, my gas tank. I'm gonna go on here. A couple of these little parts we can kind of stick up top here. There we go. Make sure we put this in the camera. grill is not going to get painted it's going to go chrome I am painting the center console and the dashboard we're all going to go on here so there's most of the parts ready for some paint and clear and all that fun part so <clears throat> next thing I'm worried about is this hood um, I don't know how worried I am about getting more paint here. This hasn't been cleared. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I am going to clear the underside of the hood, but so what we'll do is we'll just take some tape. Kind of an overspray barrier. Stick it in here for basically a little handle to hold on to as I spray it. Alright, there we go. And it's going to go in here. <clears throat> Next part is this. The bottom of the floor is going to get painted. Same thing, I can take one of these and go on the inside. That can go on here. Um, next we'll uh, go with this. And uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp one of, actually we'll use, one of these. I'm not too concerned with this little spot. This is something I can probably touch up later and mask off. So in here, I'm gonna mask off here. Take one of these. I know I'm doing this off camera because it's a little easier, but I'll show you what I'm doing. So I just took one of those same little Tamiya ones. Um, this will be me, so I can kind of be careful enough be able to put this in here. Set that off to the 
side for a second. Oh, come on. There we go. Then this can just stay right there and get painted. <clears throat> All right, next is the cab. What I'm going to do here is mask off the windows first. I make sure that it's nice and tight against the window. There isn't anything that's coming out. Everything's stuck really good. That one I really screwed it. for a second. <clears throat> Same thing, I'm just gonna run this really nice and tight against all the jam, everything like that. Put a little wrinkle in it. Same thing over here. Hopefully this piece is big enough. The reason I'm doing this is I don't want <clears throat> the inside of the cab to be shiny. I want it to be a flat look inside there. Put this window piece back in here. So I'll get stuck down so nothing's sticking up. Make sure paint gets everywhere that I want it to. Well, and then we're just going to take this. And this probably on its smallest setting so it doesn't press a lot.
Alrighty, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed that little time lapse. Those I got three of them. So, uh, well, here's the end result of this uh, beautiful, beautiful orange that I am absolutely drooling over. Um, you can see that clear just turned out like glass. Um, take a closer look at these panels and everything. <clears throat> everything just turned out flawless um, <clears throat> I have yet to find a piece of dirt in any of these these panels or in the truck cab oh, you can see the reflection of the red light <laughs> um, for explaining purposes um, I didn't clear on the bottom side um, I eventually will clear underneath um, inside here so everything's nice and shiny um, same thing like on the under underside of the hood the bottom side of the bed um, I didn't clear just because how I had to actually have it uh, mounted and stuff um, inside of the doors I'm not too worried about um, just because the door panels and stuff cover up a lot of that so <clears throat> hope you guys uh, enjoyed all that and until uh, next time, I'll talk to you later.